Hi, you can make arrows without using shape layers. And we're going to have a look at using text, wingdings and special characters on a text layer. The first thing to do is create the text that you want to use that will follow along the path using the text tool. In this particular case we're going to add a wingding arrowhead at the beginning of it. So to get to your wingdings, go to your start button open it and where it says search programs and files start typing in character map it will appear up the top click on that to open and it will appear you can use any font that you have in this case what we're going to do is wingdings 3 which have a lot of arrow heads and looking for the arrowhead that we're looking for this one will do us fine click on it click select it'll appear in the box and press copy go back to after effects make sure your layer is selected click where you want it to appear and this is very important over in your character panel, make sure that you set it to wingdings 3. And control V to paste your arrowhead. Select the arrowhead and you can use any of the character controls. And in a case like this, you can also drop it down so that it's more centered where it should be. Select the final two and using your tracking, just move them to where you would want them to be. Next, select your pen tool and create the path. Which you wanted to move along. Toggle open your text layer, text, path options, and where it says path, select your mask. It will automatically fit itself to the path. In the path options, you'll see first margin, make a keyframe, and position text where you would like it to start move to where you would like the animation to finish and move it along the path you'll note that the arrow keeps going off the screen if you wanted to start on screen again with your pen tool Create a mask, going into your layer where it says masks, mask to invert. And now it will appear where it should. You can of course use any of the wingding shapes for the arrow shaft. In this case we'll go to just plain wingdings. Delete the arrowhead, and selecting any of the shapes that you like. Click on that and we'll have him as well. You can of course select as many as you like. Copy, go back to After Effects and going back to our text tool. Making sure you have wingdings selected. Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, Control V, as many as you need. Whenever you've made an alteration, you will need to realign the first margin keyframes. So going back to the very start, reposition your arrowhead, go to the end mark, and reposition your arrowhead again. 
And that's basically it. You can, of course, use layer styles on these, particularly the bevel and emboss gives it a bit more presence. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.